Top 10 Dog Breeds for Children Hey all, in this video you will learn everything about the top 10 dog breeds for children. So make sure you watch till the end. Also, check out the description for more helpful information and if you consider buying a dog. Have you considered adding a dog to your family but aren't sure which breed is right for you? Dr. Holly Putnam, DVM, a former board member of the Association of Shelter Veterinarians, says that you examine the dog's size as well as your family's lifestyle and what energy level might be best for you. These three qualities can help you choose an excellent family dog, regardless of whether it's a purebred or a mutt. Temperament – The personality of the dog You should look for someone with a pleasant demeanor. A calmer dog, for example, can build strong ties with your children and be a wonderful companion. Size a dog's size does not indicate whether or not it is good with children, but temperament and energy level should be considered while determining size. Larger dogs are more docile, but smaller dogs are more energetic. If you have a family with little children, for example, a huge boisterous dog may accidentally knock the children down, Dr. Putnam explains. Energy level This is a personal choice for you and your family. Be honest with yourself about the lifestyle you can provide for a dog which requires some exercises more than the usual dog. If you can't meet a dog's demands, his extra energy can lead to later behavioral issues. If you are an ardent runner searching for a canine friend, a leisurely basset hound may not be the greatest match, Dr. Putnam explains. Before making a selection, do a meet or greet or several to get a sense of the potential new pet's temperament and energy level. When thinking about adopting a dog, pay attention to how they interact with all members of your family, advises Dr. Putnam. Dr. Putnam also suggests paying attention to the dog's body language. Is the dog approaching you and your family with a wagging tail or body, or is it hiding in the corner? How eager is your dog to play and share with you and your family? Some dogs develop a strong attachment to what they believe is theirs. With young children who have a tendency to pick up anything, even the dog's toys or food dish, this can become a dangerous issue. When choosing a family dog, ask these five questions. Dr. Putnam recommends that in addition to the meet and greet, you speak with the shelter or rescue personnel to learn more about the dog's likes and dislikes. Here are five questions to ask when considering a family dog. Is the dog appropriate for all family members? Some dogs are content to associate with everyone in the family, while others prefer to socialize with only adults or one gender. What's the dog energy level like? You might want a dog that will go to lengthy walks with you and your family or one that you can carry around with you all the time. What kind of continuous care will the dog need? Is it long-haired dog that will need grooming on a regular basis? Or a senior canine that will require more frequent veterinary visits? What is the age range you're looking for? Would you rather have a puppy that will require a lot of training but will likely get along with everyone in the family? Or an older dog that is toilet trained but may be shy or need time to adjust to your home's routine? Will this dog get along with the other animals in the house? If you have other pets at home, you'll want to pick up a dog that has shown to get along with the other pets and make sure that they like the new addition. Remember that while these dogs may have features that make them wonderful family pets, regular training and socialization will be required to help them become good canine citizens. Here is a list of dogs that make excellent pets for children and families. Number 10. Bulldog The Bulldog is the breed to choose if you want a dedicated, patient dog who will act affectionately towards children. The Bulldog is built to last and is ideal for children. He won't win any trophies for your most energetic dog though. The Bulldog is a gentle, sociable and loyal dog who gets along well with other pets and canines. The Bulldog feels at ease in both large and tiny apartments. Most are also friendly to outside visitors and get along with other dogs, making them ideal for a busy social home. Because of their compact size, they may be used in both large and small homes. If you're thinking of getting a Bulldog, Bear in mind that their constricted jaw requires extra attention when it comes to dental cleaning and wheezing, snoring and drooling. They're all part of the package. To avoid dirt built up, the folds around their tail and the face wrinkles will need to be cleaned. Their coat on the other hand requires very little attention. Choosing a new dog for your family should be a little bit easier now that you know a little bit about kid-friendly dogs. Number 9. Beagle the Beagle is a fantastic breed for families because of its small size. They may be easily carried and they have quiet disposition. Beagles were bred to be hunting dogs and because of their strong frame, they're never too tired to play games. If your children enjoy being outside, this breed will fit right in because there is nothing they enjoy more than getting outside and exploring the trails. The Beagle is a smart, cheerful and happy dog that normally gets along with other animals. 
except for a little bit of chasing here and there. They do shed, therefore brushing and bathing are required on a regular basis. Number 8. Bull Terrier The Bull Terrier was developed to be a companion dog, friendly and kind to adults and children alike, despite its unfair reputation as an aggressive animal. Keep in mind that your Bull Terrier, especially when it comes to other small animals and dogs, may be prone to mischief. Keep your pet mentally and physically busy every day to avoid sort of complications. The short, flat coat of a Bull Terrier is easy to maintain and the breed thrives when it had easy access to a yard to play in. Number 7. Newfoundland The Newfoundland, sometimes known as nature's babysitter, is one of the most intellectual dog breeds in the world and these canines also happen to love and defend children. This breed is nearly like the Mother Teresa of dogs, gentle, compassionate and patient. This huge, incredibly lovely dog will soon win over both younger and older family members. Although they are known to drool and shed excessively, the Newfoundland is best suited to a family with big, open spaces and they should not be let to dwell in the yard. No dog should. Their long coats will need to be groomed and maintained on a regular basis. Number 6. Vizsla While this breed isn't particularly well known, it's one of the greatest dog breeds for active and energetic families with older children, owing to their desire for frequent activity. The Vizsla is a loyal and friendly dog with a lively energy, yet a gentle demeanor. The breed is also docile, self-assured and intelligent. Vizslers build strong ties with their family members and are quick to pick up new skills. Because they have a short coat, they have a low maintenance grooming routine. Number 5. Irish Setter The Irish Setter, known for their red coat, is a cheerful and energetic dog who enjoys being around other people and gets along well with youngsters. In fact, this breed enjoys being with their family so much that whether they despise being alone, which means they're at their finest when they're with their family. Here are some simple techniques to keep your dog from getting separation anxiety. This dog requires a lot of exercise and is an excellent match for active children. The Iris Setter is a smart and trainable friend who is ideal for folks who have a yard. They're also fantastic at meeting new visitors that come into your home. Because Irish setters have a longer coat, they will really need to be groomed and brushed on a regular basis to avoid hair mats. Aside from their distinctive hairstyles, the Poodle is a very intelligent and friendly dog. This dog breed is proud and graceful, kind and devoted and rarely annoyed or bored. Poodles come in both miniature and normal sizes, allowing you to select the Poodle size that best suits your living situation. They're wonderful for youngsters with allergies because they don't shed much. Each breed has its own set of advantages. For example, the standard poodle's breed is obedient, intelligent, playful and adventurous. They get along well with persons and children they know, despite their shyness around strangers. Miniature poodles, on the other hand, have a tendency to devote themselves to a single person, but they get along well with other pets and children. They are intelligent, responsive, obedient and amusing. However, regardless of the poodle breed, grooming is required on a regular basis. Number 4. Poodle Aside from the distinctive hairstyles, the Poodle is a very intelligent and friendly dog. This dog breed is proud and graceful, kind and devoted, and rarely annoyed or bored. Poodles come in both miniature and normal sizes, allowing you to select the Poodle size that best fits your living situation. They're wonderful for youngsters with allergies because they don't shed much. Each breed has its own set of advantages. For example, the standard Poodle breed is obedient, intelligent, playful and adventurous. They get along well with children and persons that they know, despite their shyness around strangers. Miniature poodles, on the other hand, have a tendency to devote themselves to a single person, but they get along well with other pets and children. They are intelligent, responsive, obedient and amusing. However, regardless of the poodle breed, grooming is required on a regular basis. Number 3. Labrador Retrievers The Labrador Retriever is one of the most popular dog breeds and for a good reason. It's playful, patient, affectionate, protective and dependable. Another advantage is that labs are quite intelligent and respond well to training. They require a lot of physical activity. They love swimming, so make sure your family is up to the task. Make certain kids have enough space to run around and play. Whether they're black labs, chocolate labs or yellow labs, they all have the same stamina, strength and loyalty that has made them so popular. These affable dogs get along well with other animals and pretty much everyone they meet. Plus, their short coats mean that they only really need a weekly combing to keep them clean and healthy. However, Labradors do shed, so you should be prepared for cleaning up their hair regularly. Number 2. Golden Retriever The Golden Retriever is a self-assured, intelligent, loving and loyal dog. 
The Golden Retriever is neither aggressive nor timid, and they are exceedingly patient, making them an ideal companion for children. While the Golden Retriever requires a lot of exercise, they also like playing. Retrieving activities are their favorite. For example, your Golden may enjoy playing with Frisbees. You'll typically, typically find that the playing Golden Retriever is also affectionate and obedient, which means that your children will fall in love with him right away. Brushing their magnificent golden coats twice a week is required for proper care. Number 1. Mutts If your family is only interested in purebred dogs, don't rule out mixed breeds. Mixed breeds frequently combine the greatest qualities of two or more excellent breeds into a single dog. When you adopt a mixed breed dog, you are saving the lives of two dogs, the one you adopt and the one at the rescue center for a gnome you have now created room. You can also learn more about the dog's behavior by adopting. The personnel at the shelter or rescue organization spend their days caring for the dogs, so they can tell you all about the dog's behavior and habits. In terms of size, if the dog is a mutt and isn't completely matured, you'll have to make best guess about their adult size. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. Also, check out the description for more helpful information and if you consider buying a dog. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn new things about dogs every day.